We know from the research and from a lot of practical experience that learning is all about making meaningful connections, connecting ideas, building on new information that is built upon existing information and making those connections and inferences. The reflective writing assignments are designed to take advantage of this process and we have uh, three small reflective writing assignments as well as a couple of the reflective pieces within the course to help you make those meaningful connections, to give you the opportunity to focus, to uh, reflect on some of the things that you're looking at, to interpret and then make some decisions and make some connections. Um, this process is uh, very easy to follow. We, uh, you follow these four, the four-step guidelines. It is referred to as a focused conversational model. And uh, once you get used to it, you'll find it's very, very easy to follow. Now, when we take a look at the assignment itself, uh, before I actually get into the assignment, I just want to point out a couple of key things about how the uh, course is structured. You'll notice that we've got uh, main sections within the course that if you click on them, they can open or close. And, and you'll notice that there's a reflective writing section, course profile section, lesson plan. So each of the assignments is has its own section. And then the ideas and the content and the resources within each of those sections um, are all there to help you complete that assignment. And this is also where you would submit that assignment. So when we take a look at the reflective writing assignment, you'll see that there are three um, reflective writing assignments are outlined. Uh, the first one you're going to be dealing with explicit and implicit curriculum. The second one you're going to be exploring the topic of employability skills. And the third one, which is due uh, in the ninth week, is uh, about looking at curriculum ideas from uh, some TED Talks and then um, making your own connection between what you've learned and, and what you've experienced in the course. So. Um, this is the overall you know, structure of the assignments and specifically if you pull up the actual assignment document um, you'll see the specifics of what you're going to have to do there's a four point structure that you follow um, there's the dates when you need to submit them you know the first one at the end of the second week second one end of the fifth week and so on and so forth there's the word count and all the details that you need uh, to be able to complete this assi the assignment successfully. I want to reiterate something that um, if you don't make those staggered due dates, um, you won't be considered late. I'll still grade the assignment. I just won't give you the feedback that you can use that can be very, very helpful in moving your ideas forward. So please take advantage of the opportunity to uh, take advantage of that feedback and get that feedback from me and submit on those st staggered dates. If you've got any questions about these uh, reflective pieces, don't hesitate to send me an email or schedule a time that we can talk.